Hello, my name is Julie Ward. I'm a British MEP, a lifelong cultural activist, a member of Culture Action Europe, and a member of the Culture and Education Committee in the European Parliament. I'm really sorry that I can't be with you in person today, but I'm representing the Culture Committee at the Internet Governance Forum. An even more important um, thing in these days when public space on and offline is facing many threats. Regarding the future of EU and UK relations, it is absolutely crucial that the creative and cultural sector, that means you, you get more involved in discussions at all levels and try to influence the tone and the direction of travel. In this decisive political period, both for the UK and for Europe, I believe that cultural actors and arts organisations have a powerful, positive vision to offer and valuable tried and tested experiences of intercultural dialogue that need to be shared and promoted. The UK's decision to leave the EU is one that is roundly rejected by most people in the arts sector, who, in the lead up to the referendum, were overwhelmingly in favour of remaining. I very much appreciated Culture Action Europe's involvement in the UK referendum campaign and various initiatives and campaigns from the arts world aiming at making a positive cultural case for Britain to remain in the EU. Now, in a post-referendum world, with hotly debated public and political discussion, the need for your voices to be heard is even more important. Brexit will have worrying consequences for the cultural sector and for cohesive European societies. As a member of the CULT Committee and as the Labour Party spokesperson on culture and education in Europe, I'm a, I am raising awareness of the risks and will continue to do so during the negotiation process. Culture has a significant role to play in building more open, democratic and fair societies. And we are in a moment when this common ambition is seriously threatened. In this time of uncertainty, cultural actors should be voicing concerns and defending our vision of Europe. I believe that we should not accept the idea of a hard Brexit. And we should also continue to challenge the poor quality of the democratic process that led to a narrow Leave majority. As a pro-EU and progressive MEP, I want to stand for values of inclusion, openness, tolerance, fairness, solidarity and diversity. And I want to represent the 48% who voted to remain and young people, migrants and expats who could not vote but were overwhelmingly in favour of remaining. I believe that many moderates who voted to leave will oppose a failed Brexit seeing that Britain has nothing to gain from leaving and everything to lose. I and my colleagues share the core values of the European Union of democracy, human rights and social solidarity. Freedom of movement and immigration are profoundly good things that have brought us economic prosperity and the richness of cultural diversity. That's the message that we need to communicate strongly now. The UK must be part of a European social democratic movement and we will continue to fight for social justice, not just in Britain, but in Europe and around the world. The UK leaving the EU is like the breakup of a family and the UK has decided unfortunately to go it alone, like a recalcitrant child. However, the UK will never escape the fact that it shares a common history, destiny and identity with its European neighbours. Indeed, like a family, countries throughout the EU have disagreements with each other, 
They each have different cultures and characteristics, but they all share the same fundamental beliefs. The EU will remain strong in its identity and fundamental values in pursuit of human dignity and human rights, freedom, democracy, equality and the rule of law, and in celebration of diversity, tolerance and togetherness. This aspect of the EU's identity is unwavering and the departure of the U UK may in fact act to strengthen this. It is clear that more than ever before, the values of the EU must be respected and fought for. Even without the UK, the EU will still strive for the same high standards across all of Europe and will seek to welcome more countries under its wings. I do not imagine that the EU identity will change much with the departure of the UK as exclusion and otherness definitely does not feature in the EU's language. So I hope that the EU will not deny the UK the opportunity to return and I hope it will continue to wait until its sister country comes home.